Shilin has three main areas. There's a street with lots of street food stalls, a bunch of winding alleyways with more formal businesses, and then a large underground food court, which is actually where we're gonna start now. Let's go. So we've had the opportunity to try almost every single one of these restaurants at least twice. And the best one, in my opinion, is a place with a pink table that we're gonna go to. And they have the best food out of all these places. Mm -hmm. And I love watching their chefs cook. It is like magic. Yeah, this particular lady right here is like... She's amazing. She's like a human cooking robot. She's so fast. <laughs> She's no so wasted good. motions, nothing. All right. We gotta go hunt for a table. Yeah, it's just kind of like free, find where you can sit type of deal. So they do this really cool thing that's very convenient where you mark your table numbers and then you just mark what you want and give it to them and then they bring it to you. And yeah. you don't really need to speak Chinese as long as you got Google Translate. A really famous dish in Thailand is the braised pork rice. They take pork fried up in a pan with lots of onions and assorted spices, soy sauce, until it's all ground up and they boil it down to basically nothing until it's just all apart pork goo and they put it on rice. And I, uh, you know, I've had this a few times and I'm just like salivating and just looking at it. It's so good. Oh Jesus. It's even more delicious than it normally is. It's like Porky, soy sauce, you fried onion, and lots of five spice. Oh. It's amazing. That's all I can say. It's absolutely amazing. I gotta learn how to cook this for myself. Mm, so good. Right? So good. But these are my favorite dish in Taiwan. These little dumplings are called Jialongbao. If you've seen our other videos, you probably know that I've been on a hunt for a good Jialong Bao. These ones have been my favorite so far. Nothing has beat it. <laughs> so what it is, is a soup dumpling, and it's prized for its very thin covering, which some restaurants may be thicker, I think this one might be on the thicker side, but a thin covering, and then it's filled with pork, and the pork turns into soup as they cook it. So at the bottom you get this nice soupy goodness. So what you're supposed to do, is break them open. I like just biting off the top because I, uh, I don't know, it just seems kind of messy to like dig your chopsticks in and open it up. So I just, and then you can dip it in soy sauce, or you can just go straight for it and you suck out all the soup before you eat it. Off. So. Mm. And the soup inside is so good. It's like, it's almost like a gravy. It's so thick and fatty, and it's just like delicious. Go to the next spot. Yeah. So something I've been wanting to try here that we haven't yet is called fried milk. And I don't really know how they make it. They chop up these little like cubes and then I think they just puff up into these balls after they fry them. I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be pretty popular here. Mm. I like that a lot. It tastes like custard inside. Look at that. I wish we'd gotten these sooner. Want to try it? Sure. They smell like donuts. Mm. It's really good, right? Holy crap, no. Yeah, that's unexpectedly delicious. It's like a custard donut, absolutely. Wow. many Asian countries, they make these wonderful steamed buns that are some sort of a, I think, wheat or rice flour stuffed with things, and then they steam them up to cook everything inside. So this one's filled with spicy pork. It is so hot I can barely touch it, so I'm really gonna burn the heck out of myself. Just, just take it slow. That's really nice. It's almost like a marinara sauce. It's a spicy tomato base sort of marinating a pork meatball. 
I love steam buns. There's just something about the texture. It's so like spongy and light and fluffy. It's like a little stuffed cloud. <laughs> a little chewy go. Okay, I didn't really get any filling on that bite. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mm, a little soupy in the bottom too. Like all the pork fat rendered out, you see that? Cool, you wanna try something else? Yeah. <laughs> gotta document everything you eat. <laughs> wow. Hey, that looks good. You gotta get it under the light. We have seen these all over Asia, and I've never tried one, but it was Colin tonight. These are strawberries, if you couldn't tell. I'm not sure what it's coated in. It sugar. just says candy. Sugar, they yeah. dip it in boiling sugar to make it hard coated. I thought it might have like a gelatin in it too, but yeah, you're right. I think it's just sugar. Not with the front teeth. Do it with your molars at least. Wow. You know, you can Every time. <laughs> I don't really like chewing on hard candy, so I don't love that about it, but the, the flavor of it is so good. It like brings out every little bit of sweetness from the strawberry. And I think the strawberry, because it gets dipped in the like, hot candy, gets cooked just a little bit, so it's really soft. And I don't normally like cooked fruit, but in this, really good. It pairs well with the, the crunchy shell. Do you want to try it? Yeah. I'm sure I'm making some dentist somewhere you know, get the dollar signs in their eyes as they think about buying their next Porsche. You don't oh, like it? Oh, it's delicious. Um, that's really good. It's like an extra sweet strawberry because it's dipped in sugar, right? And Brandy's right, it's cooked and soft, but it's also reminiscent of like biting into a light bulb. Like, I would imagine that's what the <laughs> sensation's like. It, it's hollow and pops and sh to shards and kind of cuts you up a little bit. Is that why you made that face? Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. Like, it tastes good, but the sensation of eating it is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page with this. I want to eat those. They also had tomatoes covered in sugar. I don't know how that would be. I can't think of any like sweet tomato dish, except for like mildly sweet, like maybe a soup. I don't know. I don't know. What now? I don't know. Let's uh, wander <laughs> around until we find something that catches our imagination. Are you really ready for this? I guess. I guess <laughs> I'm ready for it. Everybody says, you know, it's so delicious, you gotta try it. <laughs> We <laughs> finally got it. This is stinky tofu. Yeah, they take tofu and ferment it in a brine of like shrimp and God knows what else. Um, and it smells terrible. It's like the worst thing ever. You smell it walking down the street and it's like, <clears throat> like yeah. literally like punched in the face with scent to me. I've described it before as it kind of smells like you took a towel, dipped it in vinegar, let it sit in mildew for a few days, and then let like a boys locker room use it. Yeah, and for me it's more like a uh, livestock pen. It smells terrible. I don't think it smells like animals, but you know, different sniffers. Either yeah. way, it's just it's so but, uh, bad. Anyways, this one, they cube it, they deep fry it, mm -hmm. they fry it some more, they fry it again, <laughs> and then they put barbecue sauce, garlic sauce, some fermented spicy cabbage. Spicy sauce. Yeah, and spicy sauce, and, and then you, uh, you eat it, so. Yeah, and if you're wondering why we're trying it, everyone says it smells terrible, tastes amazing, you have to try it, it's super popular in Taiwan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one of their, their national foods, so. Yeah. You know, no trip would be complete. Without it. All right. Why don't you uh, do me a favor and just Open up the bag, stick your nose right in it. Just do it. Just do it. Just a little torture first. Well, no, we want to see. We want to see your natural reaction. I've been like holding my nose. I know, but time. stick. Just stick your face in the bag. I want to see it kind of like collapse a little. Pretend you're like one of those kids breathing into a paper bag, but like with tofu. <laughs> it's not as bad as when they're cooking it. I feel like. 
the steam that comes off of the fryer is like way worse, but it just it's really strong. It almost like burns to breathe it. Oh, it's when upon poking it, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. Here it is. Wow. Let's uh get a close up of that. Alright, Randy. <laughs> I'm nervous. Try to say the whole thing. Whole thing. It's just kind of like taking you through it, man. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I don't think stinky tofu is for me. <laughs> it's like every time you bite, you know how fried food gets kind of like holy? Every time you bite, it releases like stinky tofu scented liquid <laughs> into your mouth and it's just, it's so bad. <laughs> I hope this isn't like, I don't know, where it's gonna like stick on your, stay on your breath a while. Well, I'll still kiss you oh, later. It tastes like an animal pen. I'm getting the animal pen now. <laughs> Did you kiss me there? Yeah, we'll put a, a brick between our mouths and we'll do it like Lady in the Tramp style. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, like, is this just an elaborate joke everybody here is committed to? I don't know. I see locals eating it every night. Like, there's lines out the door. I know, and I've seen see people at restaurants. Okay, okay, if you actually need to like bomb it and not finish it, just, there's a oh, drink. Oh, well, well, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> and the fryer oil is old too, it's so old. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna do, do another one though. Cause uh, you know, maybe it's like one of those things where you just have to like get, get used to it. Tells me we're not gonna finish this. Oh god. It was better the second time. <laughs> what you think third time's a charm? Yeah, third time's a charm, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I think I think we've had enough stinky tofu for one lifetime. <laughs> I, I got this thing and it was too hot to eat before. Um, yeah, uh, that was like literally a few seconds yeah, ago. Yeah, <laughs> a few, few minutes ago. So you may have seen one of these in our other videos. It's a favorite snack of mine. It's a roll that is stuffed with minced pork and chives and usually heavily peppered and then cooked inside of a clay oven. This one has a generous smattering of sesame seeds on the top. And it's from a Bip Man recommended stall or Michelin Bip Man, so. Holy sh. Are you okay? Yeah, it's so hot. Get a couple more bites, really rub it around your tongue. Oh, yeah. It's just like so puke inducing, like whatever that flavor is. But this is delicious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, out of all the like organ meats, intestine is okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Yeah, by comparison to the stinky tofu, this is for sure like way better. I don't know if I've had anything like, I don't know, like durian fruit I really don't like. That gave me like kind of what Alan had that like vomit inducing, it's that retching. Like the stinky tofu didn't do that to me, but it tastes so bad. I don't know. We went back to try more of the stinky tofu so that we would have a thumbnail picture. You want a set of photos? I want a set of photos. <laughs> and we discovered that if you want like the most amazing photo set of your life, just do pictures of yourself while eating stinky tofu if you don't like it. It was so funny, we were dying. <laughs>
<laughs> like literally throwing up. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> I got another uh, Taiwanese specialty here that they do. They take a sausage casing and they stuff it full of rice that's been cooked with pork lard and mushrooms to make this rice hot dog bun. And then they have a regular sausage that's of course Chinese flavor, so it's got like five spice and stuff in it. So it kind of tastes like star anise. And on this one, what I wasn't expecting, she put some random chunks on it uh, mm. and a mystery brown sauce. And then what looks like pickled mustard greens, which is like a pretty classic, uh, you know, sort of acid to cut fats here in this cuisine. Ooh, really getting in there. That's really good, actually. Uh, you know, the hot dog itself doesn't have much flavor to it, but the, the rice is really delicious. It's like risotto with a sausage on top. That's interesting. The sausage almost tastes like, it's a little sweet, but it has like kind of a fermented flavor, like a little beery, just a little bit. I'll take it any day over stinky tofu. Would you recommend it? I would say out of everything I've tried, it's not my favorite, but I don't really love sausage, so. It's, I don't think it's the sausage. <laughs> it's just I don't like sausage. It's me. <laughs> it's a me problem. Then why are you married to me? <laughs> so at a lot of the night markets, we've noticed they have Tons of games, they like dart games, these little pinball machines, just all sorts of stuff, prizes for kids. They're really popular with kids usually, but adults play them too, depending on the game. And Alan thinks I should play one. I'm gonna play darts, I guess. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. I collect magnets everywhere we go, and since it's near the end of our stay here in Taipei, I need to get a Taipei magnet. And look, there's tourist shops here. This one's pretty cute, I don't have one like this. I broke my normal scheme. I usually try to get at least the city name on it, and it's not the city, the country, but this one was too good. So the Shilin Night Market has a lot more to it than just the main street with the food and a few of those little branches that shoot off. There are tons of alleys with shops and this one has all these cute lights and photo spots. So definitely make sure you explore it because it's like a whole section of neighborhood. It's pretty cool. So we were going to show you some really delicious My Neighbor Totoro pancakes, but the place is already closed because it's like 11 already. But there was a place making rolled pancakes. And it looks pretty good. Chocolate marshmallow. She even blowtorched the marshmallow to make it sort of s'more like. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. No. And they had a cute cat back there, which was pretty neat. What's wrong? I ate the whole marshmallow. Oh, man. <laughs> was it good at least? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like a regular breakfast pancake with chocolate frosting and a marshmallow. <laughs> oh, there's a little marshmallow goo left in there. Alan described the chocolate as frosting, and I don't really like frosting, so we'll see. It smells really good. It's kind of like a frosting mousse hybrid. I like it. That's really good. I actually like this a lot. Everything is closing up and it is time for us to go home. Yep, and if you liked our video, click on another one. Do it right now. <laughs> Do it. Watch it all the way through. It really helps us. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Do it because Alan Bye. ate the stinky tofu. Not once, but three times. Four times. Four times. Four times. <laughs>